couple years ago um, as a builder and innovator my, my whole life. Um, my father-in-law, Ike Rhodes, who owns Finesse Tool Company, um, told me that he wanted to build a hood stand. He wanted me to design a hood stand and put it into production. And so we started with a steel version and, and went through several different models. And the end result has been what we call the grab-and-go hood stand um, and has, has just been a, a phenomenal hood stand, a tremendous success. Um, earlier this year, um, we secured a deal with Finesse um, to acquire the sole rights to the hood stand um, and to continue as a tool rep for the summer for, uh, for Finesse Tools. And so we got to meet a lot of you guys on the road and uh, show you the hood stand and show you some of the tools that, uh, that Finesse have been developing. And um, in the meantime, we actually, I began a brand new tool company called PBR Tough Gear. And so that's the only place that you can now buy. Uh, the grab and go hood stand is pbrtoughgear.com and the, the, the web address should be at the bottom of the screen right now. Um, if you haven't seen the hood stand, um, it's extremely sturdy. Um, it has a center post that raises to allow you to latch a deck lid uh, to it. The arms are uh, lined with vinyl. They slide in and out with ease. The casters are rated for 750 pounds a piece. It's fully adjustable um, for uh, even taller techs to work standing up uh, um, without having to uh, um, without having to stoop down. Um, very sturdy, very sturdy. One of the strongest, if not the strongest, hood stand on the market. One of my favorite one of my favorite parts of the hood stand is the way that it folds up so quickly. As you're finished with it, and it packs away for storage. Very versatile, very compact, very strong, and really for its strength, um, it's not very heavy. It weighs just under just under 50 pounds. Um, I also wanted to show you our latest product. Um, this is a cart. As I was on the tool trailer meeting a lot of you this summer. Um, you expressed that there was a huge need for a cart that was large enough, durable enough, um, compact, something that would double also as tool storage, um, something that included battery chargers, 12-volt um, outlets. And so um, I got back in the shop mid-summer and um, worked really hard. Um, a couple of my good friends, um, Cody and Ron, helped, uh, helped develop this and um, actually... Uh, they're going to receive the first two, uh, these two carts are going out to them this afternoon and they're going to do a little on the field R&D for me. But I wanted to show you some of the, some of the features of this cart. Um, it's 24 inches wide and 36 inches long. has tool storage all the way around the outside rim. Small holes for small tools, larger holes for larger tools. Um, it has um, slots in the side for whale tails. Also on the back, you can see a new feature. If you're sitting down, if you're sitting down and working and you need a long rod, or even if you're standing working and you need a long rod, instead of having to, to, to lift the long rod all the way out the top, um, these clips simply hold it in place. Um, so you can simply grab the tool, use the tool, and then whenever you're finished with the tool, you can simply snap it back into place and the cart, uh, the base of the cart holds the, holds the bottom in place. Um, the cart's adjustable from 32 inches to almost 6 feet tall. You simply loosen the, loosen the tensioning bolt on the center post, raise the cart up with tool in it, and tighten it down. Probably higher than most would ever actually want to use the cart, but if you're working on an SUV or on a van buff, uh, this cart is large enough, the base is large enough, it's heavy enough, and the center post is sturdy enough um, to handle a full load of tools even at a even at a high working height. A couple of the features on the top of the cart. The cart does come with a with a small parts organizer, um, tips, tabs. You can arrange it by removing the dividers to hold glue sticks, glue guns, basically anything that you want to store in this. And the neat part 
because it's completely removable, so you can take it with you, store it somewhere else, um, put it on your hood stand uh, tool tray if you like. Um, here on the center console, you can see that um, there are two 12 volt power outlets that are individually powered by these switches. So you can run two glue guns, you can hook your phone to one, charge your phone um, in an absolute emergency if you had a long enough cord. Uh, you can plug your light into one and they're individually controlled. Um, you can also see a battery gauge, tells you how, uh, how charged your battery is. Um, I also included um, and it's, it's fully wired for this, uh, this speaker. And you simply plug in your personal device here, whether it's a phone or an iPod, 8th inch jack. Simply plug it in and turn the power on. And you can listen to your music while you work. This all stores away in the, um, in the case. Um, there's also a battery charger. Um, it's not just a charger. It's, it's a battery sustainer. Um, it's a 1.5 amp, um, which is... Uh, uh, Plenty of amps to, to uh, fully charge a dead battery in about eight hours. Um, a battery sustainer is different from a battery charger in that it's designed, this particular battery charger is designed for marine use and it's, it's intended to leave um, attached to the battery while charging for long periods of time, even uh, two or three weeks if necessary. Um, so it will not hurt your battery if you leave it over the weekend or even a week while you're while you're at home. If you're forgetting, leave it leave it plugged in. Your battery's not going to explode because it's a charger battery sustainer. It's designed to do that. And you can also hook up multiple batteries. Um, simply um, pull your pull your light cart over close to this battery, and um, with a set of jumper cables or a small set of alligator clips and and uh, number 14 wire, um, you just hook positive to positive and negative to negative. And the charger will charge multiple batteries um, at at once. Um, plenty of storage. The, the cart's large enough to fit all of your tools on. Um, you can see here that um, here's where the uh, the power cord from the battery runs up the center post. This is a this is um, a quarter inch thick, uh, three inch post. So it's it's very sturdy. Um, it has uh, nylon bushings uh, throughout for, for smooth operation and, and longevity. Um, you can see the, the power cord plugs into the top tray here. Um, whenever you're done for the day or the week or for the job, um, you can simply unplug the power cord, loosen these two bolts, and the tray simply lifts right off. You remove these two bolts and the battery, and you can see in this cart how it stows away. One of the other neat features about the cart is that the tray actually latches to the bottom case. To make a tool chest. So you can actually use it for tool storage in between jobs or over the water. Um, it's 32 inches long inside, so most of your medium length tools to small tools will all store inside. It's uh, seven inches deep so there's lots of tool storage the center post collapses and fits neatly inside there's also room for the small storage compartment inside the inside the case if you choose to uh, if you choose to store it there but you simply drop the lid make sure that cord is inside simply drop the lid on top Nylon casters, the same exact casters that we use on the hood stands, they're already 750 pounds each. Once you've locked it down, simply pick it up, put it in the back of your truck. So, hope you like the product. It's available along with the hood stand and some of our other newer products on pdrtoughgear.com. Thanks.